Ladies, I'm going to let you into a little secret. Men freak out about commitment. And it's not because they don't want a future with you or a future with any other lady. It's actually the fact that they are scared of losing their freedom. Ridiculous, right? Because even though it's not like you're going to be prisoning them as soon as you date them, it's just a biological drive that guys have to be able to go out there into the world to hunt and gather without anything holding them back also known as a wife, or providing any unnecessary hesitation. So, today let's talk about how you can make a man commit to you without there being any pressure. We're going to dive into some deep reverse psychology. Stay tuned! The first thing is to be indifferent. If a guy feels like you are only expecting him to give up his freedom, also known as wanting a solid long-term relationship, he is going to feel this natural need to pull away. So you need to act indifferent. Now, an example could be you both are talking about, let's say, moving in together. Naturally, on the inside, you're going to want to set up a plan to figure out what the other person needs. You need to know what you're going to buy and get a financial plan together to get the ball rolling. However, a guy is going to freak out with these plans because he will feel trapped, no matter how awesome you are. Instead, you need to act laid back about it as if you don't really give an F. You can move in if you want, babes. It's not that much of a big issue if you don't. Plus, if we don't get along, then I can just kick you out. No biggie. You're basically telling him that he can do what he wants. Now, in reality, he's not going to move in for one week and then move out. And let's be frank, he probably won't move out at all. But in his head, he gets his cake and eats it. He knows he can move in with you. And he also knows that he can leave his safety barrier of pulling away if he wanted and get his freedom back. Now, for sure, if you and this guy are fairly new, this example of moving in together is a little bit far-fetched. But the same principle applies if he's not committing to being official. You just make out that you're not really bothered about being official, and this will make him work more for it. Don't chase him. This will apply in so many different scenarios throughout your relationship. Letting him know that you find him attractive and that you want him to give you affection, that's totally okay. But don't consistently call him and text him, and don't get annoyed if he doesn't call you at the time he said he would. Instead, you being slightly busy with life makes him want to chase you, and makes him feel that he has the upper hand because then he stepped into his hunter-gatherer mode, when really it's you that has the upper hand because you're playing some reverse psychology. Activate the hero in him. We're not talking about you being a damsel in distress. We're talking about him having many ways where he can help you, where you appreciate and respect what he does or what he says to help. Some very easy examples could be to get him to do some very small DIY work in your apartment or asking him to pop the hood of your car just to take a look at something. Now, I get it. You are very independent and you can do all these things yourself. However, let's just pretend for a moment that you don't know how to put the windscreen liquid inside your car and ask him to do it. This is going to make him feel like a man and to feel wanted, making him want to spend more of his time with you because you give him these manly feelings. Get on with your life. You need to make sure that you are the most important person in your life. Otherwise, if he senses that you are a little bit insecure or a little bit needy, well, he's not going to want to commit to that, right? He wants to commit to a lady that lets him have his freedom. So go out with your friends, pursue your goals, go to your art classes in the afternoon, and then you have to find some time to fit him into your life. And this means keeping up your life stuff even if he does commit. Don't stop going to your evening classes because you are Facebook official. Maintain your independence to keep him committed. And if you find that you are waiting for his call because you're bored and you want to hang out with him, well, you need to find something else to do to keep your mind occupied. This tip is my favorite one, and that is to use safe communication. Remember I told you that guys need to feel that they have their freedom. Well, another way that you can instill this into his mind is talking to him in a way that he understands. A quick hack is to understand his love language. Now, there are five love languages in total, and we all have one predominant language. If you are able to communicate to him with his love language, he's going to feel safe and he wants to open up to you and he wants to have that long-term future. 
Plus, when you understand what your love language is too, it means you both have that solid foundation of a relationship. Now, it may mean that you have to sit him down and say, hey babes, I'm just letting you know that my love language is words of affirmation. So that means when I'm having a hard day, I prefer you to say sweet things to me instead of you offering me a hug. Then he understands what makes you happy and he will continue to do things to make you feel good. Therefore, he starts to commit harder because the relationship feels easy. You would be surprised at how many guys say relationships are difficult because their other half is never happy when really it's because he is missing the mark with the love language communication and she is scolding him for it. Don't act like a mother. It can be easy to want to force your partner to correct their behavior and their efforts by nagging, overcompensating, and acting almost like a mother. You need to give your man that space to grow as a person. It's not your job to bring him up. And also, that means calling him out when he does something wrong. If he leaves his socks on the floor and doesn't put them in the wash basket, then of course you can leave those socks there on the floor until he learns that they won't get washed until he washes them himself or until they go into the wash basket. Now, a guy is going to commit to you when he feels safe. And if you are this exciting, sexy lady, he wants to commit, not a sister figure or a motherly figure. If you were to take only one tip from today's video, it would be this one. Show your fun side. If a guy can see that you're a fun person to be around, of course he wants to commit to you. It's going to be a no-brainer. Of course, I have to move in with this amazing lady because she's fantastic. So this means you have to be willing to drop unnecessary arguments. Pick your fights, display lots of banter, and don't hold grudges for long. Now, of course, it's okay to be sad and to be angry at times, especially if your partner causes you to feel this way. But learn to let things go. Communicate quickly and effectively, and the more exciting your time is together, the more he wants to commit to you with no pressure. Make him feel wanted. Now, I gave the example before that you can get your man to do very small DIY jobs and he's going to feel like a hero. However, a guy needs to feel respected and cherished. He needs to feel that you want him and you care about him and that his views are important. Some great ways that you can make him feel wanted is to include him in your life. Ask him to go out on girls' nights out with you because you really want him there. You can ask for his advice and really listen when he speaks. You can also remember the small snippets of conversation that he has with you and then you repeat them back to him in a couple of weeks' time. And be there for him when he's not having a good day. Make sure you are a shoulder for him to cry on. Let him miss you. A guy will commit to you more when he feels you are just out of reach. It's very easy at the start of a relationship to want to call and text our partners all the time. And then eventually, as you become very close with each other, that funness fizzles out and you end up just texting each other when you need to pick something up from the grocery store. So create that time and space in your life so that he can miss you. If you have a set routine where he calls you at a certain time in the evening, you don't always have to answer. And I'm not telling you to play games here and to purposely ignore his calls. But if you are busy doing something, then that is more important than the person that's calling you. Let him pull away. Naturally, guys pull away in relationships. John Gray calls this the rubber band technique. A guy feels that urge to hang out with you. Everything feels amazing. Now imagine an elastic band. The more time a guy spends with you and the more he connects to your female energy, the tighter that elastic band gets pulled. Now, the more love and the more you hang out, the tighter and tighter it gets. Eventually, the tension becomes too much that it pings back. And at this moment, your man has gone off into his man cave. He's out on some adventure somewhere to find some freedom, even if he's just tinkling around with something in the garage. This is a natural drive in every man. You need to understand that they will mentally clock out on the regular. If they get stressed at life, then their rubber band gets pulled tighter and then they want to escape and have alone time. They will have downtime to de-stress to get back into that male energy. They will vanish into the man cave. They will play video games. Like I said, they tinker with projects in the garage. In this moment, it's imperative that you don't become needy. It's very easy for us ladies to not understand this whole man cave situation. After all, when we get stressed, we have to talk it out with our friends. But for a guy, when they are stressed, they don't want to talk. They will distract themselves with something else. And in this moment, it doesn't matter how loving you are, how fancy you are when you are dressed up in your lingerie, he is not gonna come back, so just let him go. 
He will eventually come back, and when he does, you have to play off as if nothing's happened. You don't give him the cold shoulder or speak in a passive-aggressive way because he didn't talk for two days. Instead, you just say, Hey, stranger, what have you been up to for the past couple of days? And then he is met with your fun-loving side that understands his emotional withdrawal. Ladies, there you go. I really hope this video has helped. Let me know down in the comments if a specific tip resonated with you. Have an amazing day. Like and subscribe.